Right folks, here we go. It finally arrived last night in the dark so I couldn't really see anything. So I've just been having a look over it now and have a get around. And I'm pretty pleased with it. There's a, quite a few bits of rusty nuts and bolts and stuff around when you start getting down underneath and all the rest of it. But I have to keep reminding myself that it'll be 10 years old later this year. So I suppose you can't expect it to be like new. Generally it seems in pretty good nick. So I'm just going to finish doing this and then I'm going to have my first little ride out on it and put some petrol in see how it feels it certainly feels nice enough to sit in on it it's not blemish free there's things like on the top box there there's some little chips and stuff nothing too bad I'm more concerned about the rusty bolts and stuff underneath like ran by this radiator guard you can see Soon, like. And there, uh, the layout at the front. Just start it up. sounds alright. I won't be changing the exhaust like a lot of people do. I quite like the look of the one it's got on it and the sounds alright as far as I'm concerned. stick it up when they arrive later hopefully today I managed to save that original one for the screen so there we go folks that is the first quick look at it there bye for now Right, we're on. Okay folks, here we go. Time to give it a run. Excuse now, central journey. Right. Let's see if all the all the reports are read and watched about this bike. See if I agree with them. It's a lot easier to paddle than the GSR, I mean I can get me both my feet flat on the floor. Off we go. It pulls away nice and smoothly.
and off we go. Well straight away feels mega comfortable. This riding position I'm far more upright. The bars are much better. And the seat as well, this seat's nice and comfy. Ah, yeah, the first few seconds are really nice. smooth. Brakes feel a bit sharper than what I'm used to but there we go I've got this ABS combined braking on here which I've never had before so uh, just got to get used to it be a bit gentle on the pedal and the lever. I think it sounds nice can't understand why people say they've got to change that pipe, can't stand it, it's too quiet. I don't think it's uh, really the bike for making a lot of noise. Add that with the GSR, quite happy to have something a bit quieter now, although it still sounds nice. Just see how it picks up. Well, certainly pulls, which you'd expect it to, in a thousand cc. I know it's detuned fire blade engine, but it's still got plenty of poke, judging by that. Oh, so comfy. Really pleasant riding position this is. Oh, I love this already. This is great. Rabbit, you're gonna have to have a go on here. This is this is a this is a sensation. You won't want to go back to your GSR after you've had to go on here. Oh yes, beautiful. Not had about lockdown, no sign of it out here, is there? Plenty of traffic about. Everybody's on essential journeys like me. I tell you, this is as smooth as butter. This is this is great. It's a weird thing. It seems like a big bike in so much as looking forwards, because it's got the fairing and the clocks are some distance away from me. Whereas on the GSR, it was all right up in front of me. But it doesn't feel like a big bike. I actually, sat on it, and the tank's very narrow. Because it's a lot lower than the GSI, it's strange, it feels like a big bike which is smaller to ride. Sounds stupid, but it's the only way I can think of to describe it. It's so smooth. Now I know it's not anywhere near a new bike, it'll be 10 years old in September. But I can't imagine that a new one would feel any smoother to ride than this. It has done less than 16,000 miles, 15.7, so it's only really running. 
certainly feels lively. I gotta put my foot down and the floor it went in the floor before I expect to. So it used to be in higher up. And it suits my little legs just fine. It's a three-way adjustable seat and it's adjusted on the lowest setting being on vertically challenged so the standard setting comes at is 795 mil but you can up it 15 mil either way you up it or lower it so this has been lowered down onto the bottom setting so I'm on 780 mil seat height and it's perfect for me my short little legs Somebody like uh, Viper, Iceman, they'd have to have it on the highest setting and probably still feel it was a bit low for them. They've been there about eight foot taller than me, that's why. But now this is set up perfectly, this is so comfortable. I'm in love with this already, this is great. Lads, I'll be at the Motor Rev meeting point, Junction 3, in about half an hour. We've gone on a nice little tour. One day job. A couple of hundred miles. And I reckon I could do that on here without getting any neck ache or leg ache, which is what I used to get on the GSR used to start after about 60 miles plus the uh, seat on there wasn't exactly the comfiest whereas on here feels really comfortable I'll give an update on that when I do finally get to do a decent length ride but I can't imagine that I'm going to be saying that it's an uncomfortable seat and I certainly won't be saying the riding position's uncomfortable I can tell straight away this is just great the river's quite well up just coming over the top now just about the next couple of days it'll be halfway up those flood defences it all comes down from Wales now I'm just going to carry on up here and go up place called Welsh Gate and then back down the bypass back down to Stourport which is just enough to say I've given it a little try and I can tell already that the overall opinion of it's brilliant Remember you Mav, when you had your VFR first, you couldn't believe how comfy it was after your blade. Well, I'm having a similar feeling here. I hadn't realised quite how uncomfortable I was before. I used to think it was reasonably comfortable bike. But, uh, oh no, compared to this, this is like, this is just great. It's as smooth as butter. It's, oh, it's lovely. It just purrs along. There's, it might be detuned fireblade engine and uh, compared to other 1000cc bikes it's been classed as a bit underpowered or even gutless but certainly not for the way I ride it isn't it's, I can tell already there's plenty of power for me it's still reportedly got a top speed of 145 which I'll never be seeing so how much power do you need? Certainly pulls all right. No problem. I suppose if you want to go tearing round, scratching your knees down, all the rest of it, then you wouldn't be thinking of a bike like this. But that's not me, so I'm quite happy with this. This is great. Oh, I, tell you, I don't want to go home. This is great. I could, I could sit here and watch telly on this. It's really brilliant. So comfy. 
I think I'll sit in the garage on it on the centre stand tonight, get a little table at side, a couple of tinnies, set up a telly. Could do it if I had uh, one of those heated jackets. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I'm having a moment. Feels so good to be back out on the road again, apart from anything else. It's the first time I've been out since me and Maverick got back from our Christmas camp, which was the, I think it was the 6th of December. Oh, that's crazy. That GSR I had it serviced and MOT'd in August last year and when I sold it yesterday it had only done just over 300 miles since last August. It's just nonsense. Oh, this is great. I think I'll have to try the screen on a higher when the screen's right down at the moment. So I've got a fair bit of wind hitting my shoulders now so I'll have to experiment a bit and see what it's like. I'll put the screen up next time I go out and see how much protection against this buffeting I get off that. But I didn't think of that before I went out so the screen's right down low. Still, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm used to it from the other bike. I had no wind protection on there. It must be interesting to see what difference it makes. I'm only sorry the ride's not got far to go now. Alright, oh, there's plenty of power there. Power and reserve, I mean, how much do you need? Well, my first impressions of this bike, first little ride out, absolutely brilliant. I've never been so comfortable on a bike and smooth, it's something else. I know I keep saying it, but uh, it's just unbelievable. I heard about it on all the reports I watched, all the videos and things I read. But until you have a go and experience it for yourself, it doesn't really register just how nice of a ride it is. This is fantastic. Goose, you're going to have to ditch that Suzuki now. Come across to Honda. It's the future, mate. Join the clan. Don't know if you'll hear it on the camera, but it's got a nice deep rumble to it when it's ticking over. And I'm definitely not going to mess about with that exhaust. I like the look of it and I like the sound of it. So fortunately for me it's going to save me a few quid. But the one thing I must get on here is a radiator guard and I think as well a gear indicator because uh, it's the one thing Honda haven't put on here and I'm missing it. I uh, 
sometimes find myself looking for a gear that's not there so I think an aftermarket one is going to have to be purchased but oh dear this is great oh we're nearly home now oh dear oh well I think there's every chance I'll be back out tomorrow another essential journey Stand it out. Not used to where it is. Right, got. Ah, there we are. Got there in the end. Ah. Well, folks, that was it. First ride out on my CBF 1000, and it couldn't have gone better. That was brilliant. So that's it for this one, see you next time, bye bye.